Welcome back to the Smoke and Plank. Today we're going to be doing some pork belly burn-ins. Never done this before, so hey, let's give it a try. I cubed everything up into about one inch squared pieces, covered it in my own dry rub mixture, and let's get them on the smoker. I got the smoker sitting about 250, you want it about 250, 275 for these. And I'm cooking everything with ash wood today. Now that I got them all on there, let's get everything shut down and let's let them cook. Oh, they're starting to get a real nice color to them. About time to throw these guys right into a frying pan. Let's go. Now today I'm going to be using some beef tallow. It's the tallow that I made in one of my other shorts. And there's some uh, Keystone Pantry. I get that at Lang's Chocolates in Williamsport. Really good brown sugar substitute. You just want to sprinkle it across the top, really nice and even, and then you want to throw in some tallow. Uh, you can use butter if you like, I just happen to have the tallow. And yes, it's still frozen, we're going to see how it works out. Yep, it crumbled. But, you know, we'll get it cubed up and tossed in here. After I got all that cubed up and tossed in, I will go through and drizzle this with honey just to give it an extra layer of sweetness. All right, there it is. We're gonna wrap this thing up with foil, toss it right back on the smoker. Let's get it. All right, here it is about an hour later. We're gonna go through and we're gonna put some barbecue sauce on this. Now I am cheating today. I didn't make my own barbecue sauce. I am using some Sweet Baby Ray's. And after saucing, I like to go through and stir occasionally. Probably about every half hour, I'll come out and give them a stir just to keep them nice and sauced. And you really want to wait till they get tender, about 205 degrees internal, or until they get nice and squishy. And let's see what we got going on here. Oh boy, they're looking good, and they're smelling even better. Looks like they're starting to get some squish to them. A little bit longer. Won't be long now. Now that they're done resting, let's get these things out and let's see what they look like. I've never done the pork belly burn ends before. I've done chuck roast burn ends, I've had brisket burn ends, but never the pork belly. It's basically just pre-bacon for those that don't know what pork belly is. You can ask at your local grocer, you can ask at your local meat market, you know, just ask them for some pork belly. And this smells amazing. I highly suggest just doing this. You can do it in an oven if you like. It's very simple. Just keep your temperatures like 250. Pay attention to the internal temps. Or when the meat is squishy. It's a very simple tell there. Pork is very forgiving. And also you can use a lot of seasoning when it comes to pork. Pork is very, very forgiving. But man, look how tender that is. Oh, I got to go in for a taste test on this one. Holy cow. Man, that is so good. These are so tender. Definitely an awesome lunch. And, like always, thanks for watching.